Trezor is one of the most reliable and secure hardware wallets on the market. Launched in 2014, it has never been hacked. The Trezor repository is fully open source and it's trusted by millions of users around the globe. Today I will show you how to set up your Trezor Safe 3 hardware wallet. Let's get started! Connect your Trezor Safe 3 to your computer. You will see a message on the screen. Get started with your Trezor at trezor.io slash start. The first step is to download Trezor Suite from the official website. Once you've installed Trezor Suite, open it. The first thing you will do is verify your device's security. Trezor will ask you to confirm that you bought it from the official Trezor store, that the hologram and package were intact and that the device wasn't tampered with. If everything checks out, click set up my Trezor. Next, install the firmware. Since your Trezor was shipped without firmware, click install firmware to install the latest version. Now verify the hardware chip. Trezor will prompt you to confirm that the chip inside your wallet is genuine. Simply tap the start button in Trezor suite, then take your device and click the right button so your connected computer can confirm your Trezor's authenticity. Trezor will now guide you through a short tutorial on how to use your device. Press the right button to continue. Follow the tips and instructions on your wallet screen. Once you've completed the tutorial, click the right button to exit. You are now ready to set up your wallet. In Trezor Suite, click Continue. Choose whether you want to create a new wallet or recover a wallet using a seed phrase. I'm creating a new wallet in this tutorial. Next, select your backup type. I'll choose the default option, which is single share backup. If you want to use multi share backup, you can check my Trezor Safe 5 tutorial, where I showed the multi share backup option. Once you choose the backup type, click Create Wallet. You'll then need to take your wallet and agree to Trezor's terms and conditions, which essentially means you're acknowledging that you are responsible for your seed phrase and coins. Click the right button to scroll and then hit it again to create your wallet. Next is Backup. In your Trezor suite, click the Continue to Backup button. Trezor will make sure you understand what a backup is and how it works. Remember, your wallet's backup is essential for recovering your funds in case your device is lost or damaged. Do not take pictures of your backup or store it digitally. Instead, store it in a secure location and never share it with anyone. After confirming your understanding, click Create Wallet Backup. Now take your device, you'll be prompted to write down 20 words. Your Trezor will display each word in order. Click the right button to continue. Read the reminder and press both buttons to confirm you understand. Read the standard backup description and click the right button to show your secret words. Now we are at the most important step, writing down the words one by one. Make sure you are in a safe place where no one can see your words. Grab a pen and paper. Write your words in the exact order they appear. Use the right button to scroll. Once you've finished with your words, hold the right button to confirm. The next step is to check your backup. Click the right button to continue. You will need to select the correct words by using the right and left buttons and confirming each word by pressing both buttons at the same time. Congratulations, you've successfully backed up your wallet. Just remember to store your backup wallet securely, so no one else has access to them. For enhanced security, you may want to store your seed phrase on a titanium plate instead of paper. I recommend Stamp Seed, the leading company in this niche. Use my discount code CRYPTOSNAKE for 15% off all Stamp Seed products. Check out the link in the description. The next step is to set up a PIN for your Trezor. In Trezor Suite, click Continue to PIN and then Set PIN. On your Trezor device, click the right button to scroll and then click it again to turn on pin protection. Your pin should be from 4 to 50 digits long. Click Continue. Enter your pin using the right and left buttons and confirming each digit by pressing both buttons simultaneously. Once done, re-enter your pin to confirm. Now pin protection is activated. In your Trezor suite, click Continue and activate coins. Then click Complete Setup. Once your setup is complete, you will see the Setup Complete message. You can give your Trezor Safe 3 a unique name. Click Go to Trezor Suite to start using your device. 
Now let's receive some coins. In the treasure suite choose the crypto you want to receive. For example let's choose Solana. Click receive Sol, then hit show full address. Verify the address on your device to ensure it matches what you see in treasure suite. If everything checks out press both buttons to confirm. Then copy the address from treasure suite and share it with the sender. Once the coins are received, your portfolio balance will update. Now let's send some coins. I'll be sending Solana. Choose your asset and click the send button. Then paste the recipient's address. Select the amount you want to send or toggle send max if you want to send everything. Review the fee and total. Then hit the review and send button. On your treasure safe 3, carefully verify the recipient's address and the amount. Once you've confirmed everything, sign the transaction by pressing both buttons. After that, click Send in your Trezor suite to complete the transaction. Congratulations, you've successfully sent your coins. I hope you guys found this video helpful. As always, be sure to check out the Crypto Snake Deals page for the best discounts on crypto products. Use the official Trezor link with my referral in the description for the best price currently available. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll catch you later. Banks are lame, they're real and valid. So my debit accounts and zero balance. Third finger to the mall, I don't feel the challenge. I'm a king with the coin sipping from the chalice.